If I forget my password, curtis.pike at, oops, not puke. Oh my God, that's awful. Hello everybody, welcome back to another iOS 17 tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you the brand new feature called assistive access. This is an iOS 17 and it is a new feature that allows you to basically declutter the, your interface and even make your icons larger. So if you're, you know, if your vision's not where it used to be or maybe you have a cognitive impairment of some sort, this assistive access will help you. Let me walk you through the steps to set it up one by one. First step, click on settings over here on the right side. And when you click on settings, you get a whole bunch of options, as you know. I'm gonna go ahead and sc scroll down till I see accessibility. Click on accessibility. Now, go down a little further here and you're gonna see under accessibility, go to general, and then you're gonna see assistive access. We're gonna go ahead and set this up. I'll go through it with you step by step. Let's click on it and then here we go. It provides an uh, alternative iOS experience. Essential apps have been redesigned to be larger and you know, just less clutter. So let's just go ahead and click on continue. And here we go, I'm gonna use my name here, so I'm just gonna keep going. Now you get two options, you can do this in rows or grids. I prefer grids, but keep in mind, you can go with either one of these, and you can always change your mind in the future. So I'm gonna click on continue. And then here's the important part. We can now choose the apps that we wanna optimize for assistive access. So they can include any of these apps. So all you gotta do is I'm gonna click on the plus sign beside the ones that I want. So I want calls, so I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna go ahead and click on all contacts. Again, you can customize this as you see fit. I'm gonna click on camera and then watch this. This is very important. Notice that I have the photo mode enabled, but I do not have video photo selfie or video selfie enabled. So this is basically to make the photo app nice and simple or the video camera app so that it just does photos. So keep that in mind. If you want to turn one of these on, feel free to do so. I'm a video guy, so I'm gonna turn them all on. But again, it doesn't come uh, default with those on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And then what else do I want? I want messages, of course. And I will go ahead and click on continue. And again, you can customize these as you see fit. I'm gonna click on music, sure. And then let's go with photos. Now, that's not all you can do here. If there are other apps that are very important to you or that you use a lot, for example, books, I'm gonna click on plus and add the books up to the top here. So uh, this is the basically what you need to do. Now, I've got a ton of apps because I do a lot of iPhone stuff, but again, you guys can add in any of these that you see fit. Let's go ahead with what I got here. I'm gonna click on continue. And then here we go. Things to know. Emergency, triple click on the side button to access emergency calling. So that's still good to go. System notifications. Okay, software updates. Uh, end assistive access to review and begin software updates and then privacy, and you could just read through that if you want here, but there you go. Now, let's confirm Curtis knows this iPhone's passcode. Oh, I hope I know it, it's my phone. I'll click on continue, and then let's just do that. And let's just do that. All right, and that is literally all there is to it. Unfortunately, you can't uh, screen record right now uh, with assistive uh, on at the moment, so assistive access, pardon me. So I'm gonna show you screenshots of what my screen looks like, and uh, but that literally is the entire process all in one shot there. Thanks for watching.